First Lady Melania, seen in public for the first time since what many say has been the worst week of the Trump presidency. Melania and the president flew to Ohio, where they visited a children's hospital and met with doctors, nurses, and little ones born to parents addicted to opioids. They were scheduled to attend a Republican fundraiser later in the evening. It's been a tough week for Melania, with hush money payments to Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal back in the headlines following the guilty plea of her husband's former lawyer, Michael Cohen. This is an maybe an awkward day for the two of them to be together. We're not watching any hand-holding happening here. Yeah. The scandal is certain to intensify the public interest in how Melania really feels about her husband. Welcome our first lady. Just this week, first a new off-Broadway show Melania opened, Trump. the first annual Trump Family Special, starring actress Gina Gershon as the first lady. Donald is very supportive of whenever I want to do outside endeavors. Gershon has played Melania before in skits for Funny or Die. It is I, Melania Trump. And on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Melania, you look fantastic. Thank you. This is my wedding dress. There are other Melania impersonators out there. Please welcome First Lady Melania Trump. Actress Laura Benanti has gotten rave reviews for her portrayal on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. There are rumors that you're not even living in the White House right now. Oh, nonsense, of course I am. If you can call this living, hey, oh, oh, oh. And there's Cecily Strong's hilarious impression on Saturday Night Live. Oh, come on, Melania, practice your happy face. <laughs> so which Melania is the best? We asked Inside Edition's Twitter followers. 60% went with Laura Benanti. No word on whether the real Melania finds any of this funny.